I want to compose and perform a symphony for the turntable. My name is Turkman Soldier, and I study as a soloist at the Music Conservatory in Copenhagen. During these two years, I'll create the building blocks of knowledge about using the turntable as an instrument. Gathering this knowledge will hopefully result in me performing my turntable symphony as my graduation project. The first two projects that I will showcase to you in this video is my take and research on, firstly, the prepared turntable. Does this mechanical wonder have a sound? even without a record on it? And what will happen if I put devices on it and press play? The second research project in my video is about the melodical turntable. If I want to use the turntable as my lead instrument in the symphony, well, what can be achieved on the turntable if one desires to do so? Without further ado, welcome to the journey of the turntable symphony. I bought a poster frame from IKEA and cut out a record-sized circle of its plastic surface. I then placed it on my turntable. The turntable is a very generous piece of equipment that will play almost whatever you throw at it. So I threw stickers made out of different materials on my blank record and then I decided to build a double tone arm system which would then pick up the sounds of the stickers. It was almost like having a blank canvas, a record that had yet to be made. I also placed three contact mics on the record to gather more sounds. Altogether it would sound like this. Placing three stickers for one of the tone arms and four for the other, I kinda achieved a three to four polyrhythm from the spinning record. But I wasn't done yet. I placed a cross on the spinning platter itself. On that, I had attached a Christmas bell and a Bluetooth speaker, which would randomly play songs from my iPhone. When the spinning cross rotates with the turntable platter, it would hit the placed ruler, and by that forcing the bells to make a jinglish sound. I also mounted a piece of paper against the spinning platter. By touching each other, they would make a friction sound, almost like a bass sound. I now had all these sound sources from the spinning cross, and I decided to somehow capture these sounds with the microphone. In order to do that, I had to build a microphone and attach it to the cartridge system of the original torn arm on the turntable. But I wanted to balance between these sound sources. For that purpose, I would build a spinning DC motor, then attach a wire to the tone arm from that. The DC motor makes a pull and push gesture that moves the tone arm back and forth, creating a balance between the sound sources by moving the tone arm physically. Lastly, I wanted to add some evolving effects to the overall sound. So I built this USB knob thing, which would then control the sound in my computer coming from the turntable. By placing tape between the spinning cross and the knob of the effect box, I managed to create an automated movement that would increase the effect by the lapses. This information is then sent to my DAW, where each sound of the turntable has an automated effect applied to it. After carefully having built these devices, I decided that I needed some randomness. So I placed confetti on the record in order to achieve a random sound from the confetti hitting the tone arm cartridges. I was very curious and maybe a little anxious whether the experiment would go as planned. I present for you the prepared turntable.
Having conducted the first experiment, I was now ready to move on to the next one, the melodical turntable. In order to investigate whether the turntable could stand alone as a melodical instrument, I decided to write a duet for the turntable and the modular synthesizer. Starting with the turntable, I recorded a test tone and then had it cut into a blank vinyl record. The pitch control on the turntable is used for correcting the speed of the platter. I managed to play the test tone on the record like a fretless instrument, pitching the notes up and down. Furthermore, I connected the turntable to a scratch mixer. With this device, I was able to sculpture the sound with volume, cut envelopes, filters, and additional effects on the overall output. The fretless pitch control on the turntable kind of reminded me of the theremin synthesizer. But on the other hand, it was also like a sampler being manipulated by my hands. Lucky me, Reloop came out with a turntable that could be used with a MIDI keyboard, forcing the platter to move accordingly to the pitch intervals of the keyboard, making it an even more versatile device for pitch and sound manipulation. On the counterpart of my duet, I used the modular synthesizer. I made sure that the modular had equally controllable elements as the turntable and the mixer had, in order to create a fairness in the duet performance. A similar test tone was created by a voltage-controlled oscillator I have a VCA with envelope control, a filter to create contour textures on the test tone, and also effects applied on the overall sound. I needed a device for controlling the pitch of the modular synthesizer, so it could stand equally to the pitch control of the turntable. For this method, I used a Hermod sequencer. I used a Hermod to create a sequence of notes. I have now two equally instruments for my duet. I present to you the melodically turntable duet.
thanks for watching. The journey for the turntable symphony has now begun.